In today's video, I'm gonna give you a step-by-step -step guide on how we can create multi-color logos and text, just like this one, that are perfectly smooth and flat. All right, so I'm in Fusion 360 here with two base pieces. Now these base pieces, um, like I said earlier, we can utilize those with maybe a logo, a design, a drawing, something like that, or just basic text. I'm gonna go through both of these pretty easily here. Now, one of the ways and easiest way that you can do that is to go into Insert SVG here. I'm gonna insert um, one of the fellowship ones like, again, this that I have right here. So you can take a look. I'll put this on Maker World here if you're interested in looking at that. You can download that. But what I'm going to do is insert that SVG here. And I'm going to set that on top of my design like so. Maybe I'll bring it up just a little bit so it's a little centered. Again, I'm not super worried about perfection right now. I'm just looking to kind of give you all that example. So I click OK. Now I have that SVG. So what I can do is I'm going to click on that SVG. And I'm going to extrude that back down into my design. So I might extrude that down just a little bit of space. So for instance, what I like to do is match it to the nozzle height that I plan on, or the layer height, excuse me, that I plan on using. So for instance, I might want two layers or three layers of this at 0.2 millimeter nozzle height. So I'm going to go with 0.6, okay? Sorry, negative 0.6. All right, now if you're doing like 0.12 nozzle height or something like that, just take 0.12 by the number of layers you want. So for instance, I might do negative 0.36 because I want three layers at a 0.12 millimeter layer height, okay? So once I have this cut in, the um, next thing that I'm going to do is I'm gonna create my second body and I'm gonna create a component from that body. Now it's important to have different components for each of the individual pieces. Once I have that component, what I'm gonna do is click on the area that I've extruded extrude that one more time and over on the right hand side here what i'm going to change this operation to is new component so once i click new component i'm going to bring this up 0.36 like so and hit enter now i have two separate components if i take one away i should see that i have the drawing and vice versa Okay. Now, before I send these over to uh, Bamboo Studio, I'm just going to do the exact same thing, showing you how to do it with text here. So I go to Create Text, make my design here, Sample Text. I know I already had that in here. I'm going to center it and center it. I'm going to increase the size quite a bit. And I'm going to change that font to Impact because I think that makes things much, much cleaner. A little bit too big, to be honest. There we go. All right, so now it's the exact same process, the identical process here. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna click on this text, hit extrude. I'm gonna pull this down the same amount of layer. I made 0.36, hit enter. Now. I'm going to do the exact same thing, create a component. Now I can click on each of these individual ones. So I have to go through and select each of these letters, like so. Bring that up 0.36, but before I do that, make sure I change that to new component and hit enter. So now I have both my SVG design, as you can see here, the base of it, my text, and the base of it. So now when I'm ready for this, what I'm gonna do is just go to File, 3D Print, and I'm gonna select my pieces. So when I go here, I'm gonna click OK and make this base. Click Save. Actually, I'm gonna go No, because I've already had a different project with that. Um, I'll go like Test Base. I'm gonna do the exact same thing, File, 3D Print. And I'm going to call that test design. All right, now do the exact same process with the sample text. All right, so let me show you what happens when we get into Bamboo Studio now. All right, so I'm in Bamboo Studio with a clean design. What I'm going to do is hit Control I or Import, and I'm going to bring my designs in there. Now, when I get to this screen here, what I'm going to do is click yes, because essentially what it does is it merges those files um, as if you were using them in Fusion 360. Now, the nice part is typically it will be in global here. If I click on objects, now I have both of these options. 
So what I'm going to do is click on my test design or my base, whichever color I want to change. And I'm going to change that just by clicking the corresponding number on my keypad here. For instance, if I want black, I'm going to click two. And now I have this perfectly flush with my piece. Now the nice part about this is now that they're all one object, it's easy for me to lay it on the face. I prefer, prefer the face of my designs to be on the build plate to get that PEI texture. In order to modify that then, I'm going to go up top here um, to lay on face, which is right here, like on the face like so, and I have the perfect design. Okay. Whenever I go to slice that plate then, what I want to do is just make sure, and I'll take a look here, that we have all of those objects. We're gonna have perfectly flat. There's gonna be no issues. Sometimes it'll give you some issues over on the right hand side here. As long as you don't have any issues there, you are in really, really good shape. So you can see we're only changing the filament four times. Okay? It should be a very easy print to make. And I can do this with all manner of different projects. I can have multiple components that I install. It's just super, super easy uh, to go about doing. And again, use that exact process. And we're left with something really cool like this, where I have a perfectly smooth design. I have the multicolor aspect still on there. Um, everything looks really, really sharp comes out pretty clean. So that's going to be it for today. Just a really quick video. Again, I had a bunch of questions from this on my TikTok page um, about how I exactly make those flat designs. So um, if there's other things that you want to see, please leave me a comment below. I love making videos based on your questions. Um, also, if you would enjoy tagging along and seeing some other builds that I'm doing, or maybe some tips and tricks videos that I have coming out, uh, love it if you like the video and then subscribe as well. Thank you so much. I really appreciate it. Hopefully see you in a new video. Thanks.